Hi, this is Harish here. Welcome to DB2 LUW HADR tip video tutorial part one. In this video tutorial, I'm going to talk about how a standby database requires primary in spite of the log files available in local archive or overflow log path. The scripts that I'm using for this video uh, tutorial is available in db2luwacademy.blogspot.in. This slide talks about the problem scenario and the tip. So the problem scenario is we want to demonstrate how the standby requires the primary to be active. Like, you know, the, when the standby should be connectable to the primary, uh, even in spite of having the, lo the required log files uh, in the local archive uh, log path, or even overflow log path. So the scenario is something like, let's say you have a HADR primary standby all uh, you know running in place. Suddenly the standby goes down. So whether it is a crash or whether it is even for maintenance of the standby also, you can take it down or for OS, uh, you know, in net network could be down, something could be there in the OS. So are you, you physically move your uh, standby server from one rack to the other rack? or from one data center to the next data center, I don't know. So it, it need not be a crash. So it can be even like a maintenance like that. So we, we know that the standby is down and the primary is up and running. It's, it's serving the clients for the database, so all fine. But it's going to be like, say, the standby is down for a couple of hours. So in the meantime, the primary would have replayed or you know uh, generated so many log files. So when the standby eventually comes up after fixing up the issue or whatever it is, uh, there is going to be a huge amount of log retrieval and shipping of that log uh, from the primary to the standby over the network. So which is a bit of overhead for the primary also because it has to do the retrieval and it has to uh, network level also there is a lot of if there are 500 log files to be shipped 500 into 4 MB is Roughly 2 GB, right? Yeah, 500 log files, each is 4 MB, 2000 MB. Yeah, 2 GB of log files needs to be shipped over the network. So which is, <coughs> sorry, so which is uh, which is a bit of overhead in terms of uh, performance for the primary. So uh, what we do is we can, for quick replay, uh, when the standby comes up, for the quick replay of the log files, we can manually copy the log files uh, at least the archived log files can be copied over to the standby machine and place it in the local uh, archive log path if you're not using a shared device. So you can you can place those log files in the archive log location of the standby so th and then activate the standby so that it can, uh, you know, uh, uh, replay it. Like it, it will not request the primary to ship that file. Instead, it is just going to locally read it and, and play the uh, from the archive log location. So what is the tip that I'm going to provide here is it all, it works all fine uh, as long as the connection to the primary is there. See, this is a significant change. See, in the local catch-up phase, there is no archive log replay happening uh, in 10.1. Even if you provide those log files in the archive location, uh, it, it, it will connect to the primary, make sure that the primary is connectable, and then it will do the restart. Uh, it, will, it will do the replay of the log files which are there in the archive log, which you have kept, copied it manually. So the, the, in 9.7, it was not like that. So the, the tip is that there is a change in behavior between uh, 9.7 and 10.1. I think 10.1, 10.5, 11.1, all the same behavior only. So in 9.7, what they had was in the local catch-up phase, the archive, even if that log file is there in the archive log directory, even if the primary is not connectable, so in the log, local catch-up phase itself, it will catch up all the log files which are there present locally in the archive log location of the standby itself. Whereas in 10.1 and above, in local catch up phase, it will only look at the look at the active log directory. So you can copy the files to the active log directory also when you manually copy, but um, that, that is a different uh, topic. So I don't want to get into that. So uh, the change in behavior is in local catch up phase, even if you're uh, log file is available in the local standby archive log location. Uh, it requires the connection with the primary. If the primary is down, when the standby comes up, 
it will not replay the log files even if they are locally available in archive log location. If it is in active log location, probably it will do. I, I think it will do in the in the if it is the, those log files are available in the active log location, it will do. I don't think that behavior is changing. Okay, so as usual, uh, let's go to an example and check it out. Uh, so let me close this. For so so the prerequisite for this uh, thing is you need to have a HDR uh, everything in place. So I have here, this is my X, this is a Oracle virtual box. So this is like a virtual machine. So here I have already installed the DB2, HDR and everything is set up. So DB2, sorry. So SU hyphen DB2 INST3, DB2 INST3, and I will db2 st8rt so i'm starting the instance in x ubuntu pc which is a virtual machine uh, this will this will be my standby machine and okay so db2 activate db hadb so the standby is up and running now <coughs> sorry okay now we can go to the primary machine, which is Y Ubuntu PC. So this is this, this is like two different box, which uh, two different virtual machines. So oh sorry, I can open a terminal and do the same thing here. Also the same instance name, su hyphen db2 inst3 db2 inst3 db2 start. Okay, taking time. So it's I'm on a virtual machine, two virtual machines, the, the base laptop or the what do you call the the host is Windows 10. So db2 activate db H A D B. So the primary is also now uh, I have activated it. And both of them should should be talk, should be talking to each other and they'll be in the peer state. Okay. So let's check that out. So db2 pd hyphen db h a d b even HADR, that is the command for that. So let me just let it, let it, let the activation be completed. Okay, the activation got completed. So I can run here. So you can see that it is in peer state. So you can see that it's in peer state. It's connected. So the standby is connected to the, uh, the standby is connected to the primary and the log file number is 481. See currently it is it is with log file number 481. Okay. So what I'll do is I'll go to the primary. I'll do the same thing. Connect to HADB and I'll I'll run a couple of uh, so this uh, this is the thing. So primary we have started activated it. I'll run a couple of uh, SQLs and as usual. So just run a couple of them. So that it is transferring it to the, the, the HADR stuff works, right? So I just wanted to make, show you that. Uh, so it's a pro, it's now running. So you can see that the 482. So from 481, it became 482. From 482, it became 483. From 480, it stays there at 483. Okay, so you, you can see that the HADR is, is running. And this, this is the standby. It is in peer state. And when I start a transaction in primary, it is getting replayed on the standby as well. So, so far, so good. Okay. Okay, commit. So now what I'm going to do is deactivate my standby. So this is so this is what I told. So for, for some maintenance or font for something, I'm deactivating the standby. So I go here, deactivate the standby. Now that doesn't deactivate the primary. So primary is up and running. And uh, so I go to the primary. Okay, and I am going to repeat the same thing. Uh, okay, so copy that. Okay, so some 10 or 15 log files, let it let it uh, run. So because what, I, what I'm showing here is for about 10 to 15 log files, uh, for 10 to 15 log files, the primary is going on and it is generating a lot of log files. And these log files are not shipped over to the standby since the standby is, is down.
So you can see that. So the standby is deactivated. Standby is deactivated. And when I deactivated, it was at 483. Okay. And uh, I'm running here. So I'm running a lot of transactions in the primary so that I'm just creating a scenario wherein there are a lot of log files that are generated in the primary. So for so let me let me get get to some level of 500 log files like that. No, I mean not the number 500. I mean uh, so let me go to DKSP repo. Okay. Home DB2 INST3 arch logs INST3 HEDB node 00, 00 log stream 300. So from 483, you can see 483, 484, 489. So let it let it run run let it run a bit. Uh, so 483 to 489, 490. Let it become 500 maybe. Yeah. So I think I'm just wasting your time, uh, but that's okay. So. Uh, so what I'm going to do is after running this, I'm going to copy all those 483 to 500 of that number of log files and I'm going to take it and copy it to the standby. Okay, and I'll bring down the primary, deactivate the primary, then I activate the standby. So when I activate the standby, it will not replay. That, that is what I'm saying. So that, that's the change in behavior. It will not replay even, even if those log files are locally available uh, in the archive location, it will still not replay. That is what I'm going to demonstrate, uh, which is a change in behavior from 9.7. Okay. So from 10.1 and above, new behavior. Okay, so let's see how much of log files we have generated so far. Uh, 496, I think it should be okay. So 480, 483, 483, 483, 486, 487, 488, 489, 490, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96. So I'm copying all these log files 483 to 496. Copy all that. And uh, okay, let me just do that. Now I have four more log files, please bear with me. I just want to make sure that I, I demonstrate the proper case. So, so there should be at least 10 15 log files so that we can up, properly observe. Otherwise, you know, the replay will be very fast, so we cannot track it. Okay, so let's do it like that. Yeah, so 418, 60, 497, 98, 99, 500. So 483 to 500. Copy that and put it in a shared location. So step download. Okay. So here, already have some file. So delete that. So okay. So 483 to 500. That log file is here. So that's it. So we can we have copied it over, and we can also bring down the primary. So DB2. Deactivate DB. DB name is HADB. Okay, I have deactivated it. Now go to the standby. Okay, so I'm in standby. Uh, so I don't. I did. I have to copy the files over, right? So I know that it is in 483. So it will be looking for 483, 484 like that. Uh, but I need to. Okay. There and go to SF downloads the shared location, shared logs. So from 483 to 500, the log files are there. Copy them and put it in the archive location of the standby, which is INST3 archive logs, INST3 HADB node 00, 00 log stream C00. Okay, paste that here and change the permission. See, because I am doing this in a root uh, user, so uh, you don't need to do it as a root user. Uh, you can do it as a normal user. Uh, so I hope I change the permission. Yeah, okay. otherwise it will not be able to read, right? So, 
okay so uh, all set so 483 to 500 is available in the standby archive log location okay all i need to do is just activate my database but once it is activated and run the hdr command you can see that it is still in 483 only the primary is is deactivated it is not going to do any replay it's not going to start any replay of the log files even if all those log files are available in the local archive directory right so you can see that here see it's still in 483 and primary log file is like zero it says it's disconnected and it's re remote catch up pending so in the local catch up phase it did not try to retrieve the log file from the archive log location of the standby and play it back so which is what i'm saying so in order to do that it needs the primary to be activated okay but once the primary gets activated you can see some movement of log files here but it it won't okay i mean it's going to take some yeah you can see that the primary number got changed 502 because the connection got established the handshake has happened and from 483 it will it, yeah from 483 it became 501 i mean seriously so it was very fast okay so that's it so 502 it became it, it came to a peer state so you need that connection basically okay and uh, you usually don't need that but uh, in 9.7 if you are in 9.7 you don't need that but uh, since you are in uh, in uh, 5.2 uh, uh, sorry since you are in 10.1 you need that okay uh, that was the that was the things and then how how can we make sure that uh, how are we making sure that it is not retrieved from here right that's a that's a good question so for that what I need to do is come back here and go to inst3 uh, sql live db2 dom and go to the diag log you can see usually it retrieves right so there will be some uh, log file retrieval here uh, we completed retrieval for fine art one like that so you should not see retrieval happening for uh, 500 okay 499 oh my goodness it is retrieving everything i don't know from 483 right okay yeah no 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 from four, so you will not see retrieval for 483 right okay the last retrieval was okay this is archive it's not retrieval okay yeah so for pine art one it retrieved from 483 it did not retrieve right so 483 484 485 486 487 488 489 none of those things were uh, retrieved so so that is the thing so that's a, so you will never find the retrieval for you'll never find the retrieval for that i'm sure of that so see there is only archival for fine art one right there will be no retrieval happening uh, for 483 484 485 for all those log files so you can even check like a find do a find so uh, for example you can search for started retrieve log file like that copy go left go d previous 499 see the the last retrieval was 480 right 480 so after so we started at 483 so from 483 484 485 486 up to 500 you should not see any retrieval so the retrieval happened for 479 480 that's it after that 499 only got retrieved which is at the end of the 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 complete uh, log files that we have uh, copied over so if you look at this you can see that from 485 to 4 99 so almost at 99 and 500 it, it it required the retrieval but other than that from 483 4 5 these things and all it did not retrieve on the primary so it's not coming over from the network right 
So that is what I, I wanted to say and I wanted to show to you in a demonstration. So, so the tip is, if you have locally available log files in the archive log location in the standby, you need the primary to be active. Otherwise, it won't do the it won't do the retrieval and it it won't do the replay. Uh, even if you manually copy all those log files, I mean it's not going to do that unless you you your connection to the primary is there. This is a change in behavior from 9.7. Okay. Hope this tip was useful to you and. Uh, that's it. See you. See you in the next video tutorial. Until then, bye bye.